up, it's Mech Gadget, and we're going to be creating a bullet tutorial in Scratch using clones. So this will work for any method which uses multiple bullets shooting for one sprite. First, let's just remove the body. Oh. And then we can move it to the center here. Then we're going to drag in a when flag is clicked. Go into forever. Drag in a go to motion drag in a set y2 and then go into sensing and then drag in the mouse y so this is how this will look like right now we can move this to the left a little bit so you'll see some games like this that you use uh, bullets and so i'm going to be making it for this all right so then we're going to create a new sprite we're going to convert to bitmap zoom in put this here one on that side one on that side Perfect. Okay, so now we're going to drag in a when flag is clicked. We're going to make this a little bit bigger. So set size to 400%. And before we do that, we want to hide. Then we're going to go into events, drag in a forever. And then in that forever, we want to drag in an if statement. So here we have an if statement. Uh, we're going to create a clone of myself inside here. And then in sensing, we are oh, in sensing we're going to drag in the key spaces pressed so then we're going to drag in a when i start as clone we want to go to go to sprite one and then we want to point in direction 90 but to make this easier for you guys so that it's not only for this type of game we're going to add in a direction of sprite one in that slot right there so then once we have that our sprite is hidden so we want to show it once it's set up the location on the screen and then we're going to repeat until and here it's going to be touching edge uh you want to move 20 steps And then we want to delete the clone once this has ended, meaning it has touched an edge. So that's in events. Oh my gosh. All right, there we go. Delete this clone. So now this is how it's going to look. Just like that. And first you can see that you can just use it as a laser, which is not what we want because it's a bullet. So you can tap once and that works. But if you hold it down and just keep it in one place as well, it's kind of glitchy. So we don't want that to happen. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, okay, whenever you click this key space press, that only fires that one bullet and that's it. So after we do a create clone of myself, we wanna wait until, and then drag in not, key space is pressed. So this will delay this program to ever create a new clone until the key space is lifted up. So now, as long as I hold it, I can only shoot one and you can see like that. Also, we can just make this go to back. So we can go to back layer. And then I think 400 might be a little too big. We can change that to 300. So yeah, there you go. That's how you make a bullet in Scratch. All right, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like on this video. Subscribe with post notifications. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.